Hi, I'm Peter, and in this Lens Studio tutorial, we're going to cover how to use the 3D Objects template for creating face lenses. The 3D Objects template allows you to create a face lens that attaches 3D objects to one or more faces. In this video, we'll cover how to import your own 3D objects into the template and get them tracking faces in a custom lens. For more information on head-attached objects, visit our guide in the Lens Studio documentation linked in the video description below. To get started, open Lens Studio and select the 3D Objects template to create a new project. When you open the project, you should see an animated 3D model attached to the face in the preview panel. The 3D Objects template supports more than one face. You can see this for yourself by using the footage drop-down in the preview panel to select a video with multiple faces. We're going to bring in our own 3D content, so let's start by deleting the example content labeled Replace Me in the Objects panel and Remove Me in the Resources panel. Next, I'm going to switch over to Maya to export my 3D model. In Maya, I have a 3D model that I'm ready to export for use in Lens Studio. Here are some things to note before exporting. Models imported into Lens Studio need to be triangulated. Additionally, your model should be 10,000 triangles or less for use on low-end devices. Let's start the export process. Select your object in the outliner. Then, select File, Export Selection. Make sure FPX is selected. In the Export window, make sure Tangents and Binormals and Triangulate are selected. Then select Export. For more information on exporting models, follow our 3D Object Exporting Guide. The guides are broken out by different software packages including Max, Blender, and Cinema 4D. Now let's get back to Lens Studio to import our model. To import our model, select Add New, Import Files. Select your exported FBX and choose Open. The model will now appear in your Scene and Resources panel. Before we start positioning this 3D object, let's give it a material. I'm going to create a new PBR material in the Resources panel by selecting Add New, Material, PBR. Next, I'm going to import the PBR textures I created earlier in Substance Painter into my project by dragging them into the Resources panel. With the textures imported, I can link them to my new material. Now, I can connect the new material to the object. I'll repeat this process a few more times to assign materials to all the meshes in my object. We'll skip ahead while I set up the rest of these materials. Okay, we have assigned all our materials. Now let's position and align the 3D object so it fits the head. In the Objects panel, select the object. Reparent your new 3D object under the face object container found under the object named First Head. In the 3D Scene view, resize and position the 3D object to fit the head wireframe. Use the Preview panel to check the alignment. If your model has an animation layer, the 3D Objects template includes an idle anim script you can use to play it back. The model we imported has a looping idle animation layer named Base Layer. To set it up for playback, I'm going to select the face object container to show the idle anim script's properties in the inspector. In the inspector panel, click the idle anim script's animation mixer property to set it to the 3D Objects animation mixer. Next, I'll set the idle anim layer property to the name of the object's animation layer, base layer. If your model doesn't have separate animation layers, you can play back a portion of the model's animation timeline instead. To do this, you can use the Animation Mixer Components Clip Editor to designate a frame range for automatic playback. To learn more about the Animation Mixer's Clip Editor and Auto Playback, visit the Lens Studio documentation guide on playing 3D animation linked in the description below. The 3D Objects template supports multiple faces, so be sure to customize the object labeled Second Head if you'd like to attach a 3D object to a second face. First, we duplicate the 3D object. Now, drag it to the face object container under the object named Second Head. Position it so it aligns with the second face in the preview panel. Now that we've set up our 3D objects, let's preview the lens in Snapchat. To do this, click Pair Your Device in the top right corner of Lens Studio. 
Then, open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Make sure your device and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Push Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. This lens is ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Thanks for watching this tutorial and have fun creating your own face lenses using the 3D Objects template.